can you believe it about as Robert? soon as anything has been ordered by the superior receive God it as a divine you. command and cannot suffer any delay in executing it but this very obedience will be acceptable to God and pleasing to men only if what is commanded is done without hesitation. Delay, lukewarmness, grumbling. given to superiors is given to God. For if the disciple obeys with an ill will and murmurs, not necessarily with his lips, but simply in his heart, then even... John, sneaking off to drink wine while he plays with spank to our faces. We want to be abbot and abbot.
I'll find you, you cur. Man, I'm almost there, but I have no idea where that blood is supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, I wrote on the paper, I'm just waiting for the blood aha so I guess it hasn't arrived yet Go for some Gregorian chanting then.
Or what do you want, brother? You shouldn't be here. Okay, it's there. Mistaken, I'll get arrested now. Fuck. Pay more attention, bro. Why such okay. haste? Oh, yeah, I got them f last time. I got the cure for the abbot. I tried to help brother Nevas or Nevlas to be the next abbot when I told the prior that. The guys are drinking. Place? Don't you know where you're permitted to enter and where your presence is forbidden? Very well, brother. I accept my punishment. Now, show me what you have on you. I must confiscate anything that's not allowed in the monastery. Why such haste? And that's good to know. I did it by... I waited for the prior to start the morning mass and right as he was going out of the door I just knocked him out and took his keys.
should have replied such haste. such haste in a rush to pray Watch your step, brother. Praise be to Christ. And let him not I have everything we need. Excellent. Straight after Vespers, we'll meet in the dormitory. We'll have to get it all done before the monks have finished dinner. What exactly is your plan? And why can't we do it at night? We're going to prepare a little riddle they'll never solve. And why at mealtime? Because we need the dormitory as well as the church to be empty. Then at night we'll escape. Do you follow? Take everything with you and don't forget the keys. Good. Once evening mass ends, I'll be in the dormitory. Knowing that it is written, the fool is not...
worse than last time. I tell you, something is going to happen out there. You might be wrong. And besides, God will be our protector. Praise be to Christ. I'm here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. There's the alchemist. Today's task, to cop. Once you finish them, you'll find me. What? Why can't I use my Valerian?
What would you like? I've finished my work. What you God be with you. What would you like? I'm here to work. Hey. You call that a copy? You've completely... God be with you. Praise be to God. For a moment there, I was worried you weren't coming. Give me that blood.
Slow down, brother. Here's where you dragged my lifeless body. Why such haste? Thank you for helping me out. Now we must eat. Well, I can't just let you leave. You're a criminal. What are you on about? Did you really help me escape just to portray me? I'm truly sorry, but you were there at the Neuhoff massacre and you're a valuable witness. Gregor, you can't be serious. I thought I won't be taken anywhere. I'd rather die than lose my freedom. And now, we're off to the bailiff. This is one of the men who raised Neuhoff. He should be able to tell you something useful. But I need to ask a favour. I need you to keep him out of sight so his accomplices don't know he's been caught. Fine work. And I'll do as you say. I'll find a deep, dark hiding place where no one will hear me interrogate him. And while we're at it, I'll have your things brought here. Wait here a while.
Have you a moment? What is it then? <clears throat> it's about this. What? You heard? I'm damned if you know. Uh. I can't go back home like this. Mother's right. I knew. Good to wear a The FPS drops are unreal.
outside the place they were talking about. Morning, sunshine. Hope we didn't wake you. Kurva. Did you have to sneak up on me like thieves? We are thieves. Besides, we had to make sure you weren't followed. Or trying to lead us into a trap. But enough of this chit chat. Let's get down to business. We heard there was some trouble at the monastery. Question is, was it the right sort? Did you do that job we agreed? Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? The world's full of idiots. It's done. You've got proof? He had this on him. Hmm. Aye. That says all right. What did you do with the body? I dragged it away and buried it. That must have been quite a job. Are you saying I wouldn't have the strength? Nah. I just have to make sure you did what was needed. Not even a mouse can get into that damn monastery, so I've no choice but to trust you. And do you trust me? Yeah. What now? What now? You did your job. Welcome. We need people like you. But what do you need people like me to do? <laughs> I'm just the crimp. All I do is recruit. Now you get to go to our camp and find out everything you need to know. Where? Are you seriously telling me you didn't know it's the camp? Not too observant, are you? Well, there's a hill above Sasau, and on top, there's an old abandoned fort. Only it's not as abandoned as it used to be. That's where the camp is. Go there and report to a fellow by the name of Eric. Tell him Kozliak sent you. And they'll let me in just like that? Good point. I almost forgot. At the gate, show them the special die you took off Pius. That's our sign. That's all? That's all. You'll learn everything you need to know at Vranik. And hurry up. I've got a feeling there's something being planned.
I think my vsync is off and I'm, uh, I have the game installed on an SSD Samsung 850 EVO 500GB Guys are lucky. Let's go. We've met before, haven't we? We have. And you def Normally when I don't stream, I have constant from 60 to 80 FPS when I'm out in the wilderness in small villages. But when I go to Rata, it's always 20 to 30 FPS drops. Okay, I'll try that with the shaders. Why not? Excellent. I'm over here. All that time spent in the monastery. Fine duel, sir. I thank you. You've won honorably, sir. Say shader is too low, eh? Same you see now. When I go to Rata, it's just unplayable. I really hope they will optimize it soon. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the best RPGs I've ever played. I'm sure they're wait working on the patches, so that's why I'm not complaining that Yeah, that's true. Sir, I have news, and I'm sorry to say it's nothing good. After everything that's happened, you have even worse news. That's almost impressive. I'm afraid so. It's going to happen again, and on an even bigger scale. You're full of good cheer, aren't you? What exactly will happen? It seems the Pribislavitz encampment was just the start, and they're far from defeated. How did you find out? I found a recruiting agent who worked for them and let him recruit me. Ah, God's holy hat. You never cease to surprise me, lad. And what did you find out? They have another much bigger encampment in Vranik near to Sassau. What do those bastards want? And who the hell are they? To hurt us? Conquer the region? I'm not sure yet, but I can find out. How? I'm one of them now. I have their secret sign. I know where their camp is. 
All I have to do is go and take a look. That's out of the question. It's too risky. Sire, compared to everything I went through to get this, it will be child's play. I already passed their test. They trust me. Then we'll have to attack them before things get out of hand. Ideally, right now, when they're not expecting us. Once we catch that mangy little shit, we can ask him nicely what he wants. But then again, before we attack, it would be useful to have a spy go and scout out how many of them there are and what they're up to. I don't want you to take any unnecessary risks. It's much less risky than our raid on Privis Lavitz. All right then, Hal. Go there and find out how many of them there are, and what their plans are, whatever you can. But don't stick your neck out too far. Yes, sir. Godspeed, lad. Yeah, I'll show you the gear. Just give me a moment. There you go. Oh, shit. See, I have everything. And the, the save system is actually, I love the save system and it's very easy to make the savior schnapps, which reminds me I should make some. And the lock picking before I actually got into the monastery, I, you know, I opened the occasional chest or two that were easy or very easy. And when I went into the monastery, it was so much fun. I'm glad to see you. Oh, shit, I have mine. I have three. Where's the herbs? Oh, that's here. What else did I need? Was it Wormwood? Or was it... Let's see. Man, you know, I finished The Witcher and I barely did a single potion, but here I'm enjoying it so much. It's just so fun to make potions. So, what was it though? Okay. We need Vinu. Okay, let's. Yeah, the same for me. And I didn't want to reload. I want to live with the consequences in this game. And I had quite a few people tell me that I was wrong because I put up the video how to make that cure. Uh, Belladonas. That one more turn, yes. Yeah. 
and Skyrim is see now I can save I don't know why people complain and I mean Skyrim doesn't come even close this game is so much more immersive from everything combat crafting I hope if there is a expansion or a Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 or something that we'll also get other professions and not only alchemy Once they put out a few patches to polish the game, that will be the best RPG ever made. Yeah, that's true. And uh, I'm once I finish this playthrough, I would really like to play it again. But this time, I'll just go with being a sneaky bastard. And what I really like about this game is that you can actually poison people. It's not just go stab them in stealth or cut their throat. You can put poison in their food. You can put them to sleep. You can do whatever you want, basically. Speech does wonders sometimes. And you know, also a lot of people told me that they were really bored about the monastery, but I really liked it because you know there are quite a lot of other things to do, not just go in and kill pious. I really enjoyed, you know, the. Uh, I tried to. I helped brother Nevlas uh, get a cure to cure the abbot. Then I tried to help him uh, be elected as abbot. Oh boy, that's a big encampment. I really like that, you know, if you miss three lessons or you get three warnings, you go to the cell. It was so immersive, you know, for like three days I really thought I was a monk. Come on, load first. Okay. 
Okay, fuck it, I'm going in. Made my save. Let me inside. Inside, eh? What's the password then? Thank you. I came here for a game. Show me that. Hi. All right. Welcome to Vranik, comrade. Thank you for your kind welcome, comrade. <laughs> Who should I report to? Eric. He should be in the house, at the top. Like sure and easy. Fuck. Let's do some role playing. No running. The FPS is killing me. And the sad part is that when I stream I get even lower FPS, which is sad. Not only strong outer walls, but inner ones too. This isn't good news. This must be where the commanders are. <laughs> Man, I love that quest. That was the best part. What do you want? Kozlik sent me. Ah, more reinforcements. You're the one from the monastery? Yes, sir. So you really killed that turncoat? Yes, sir. Well done. I heard about you, and quite honestly, I didn't think you'd succeed. So can you handle a sword? Yes, I know what I'm doing. Well, I think it's best if we put you to the test. Go to our combat master, Vanyek. He'll soon find out what you're made of. Just go downhill, as far as the stockade. This tent is right next to the training arena. All right, sir. And what I liked about the monastery is that actually if you have high lock picking, you can, there is no need for you to becoming Gregor and you can just lock the, pick the lock and go in and do what you want. Those tents look pretty impressive. These fellows aren't paupers, that's for sure. <sighs> Let's see, I'm quite rusty after the monastery. That's me. What do you want? I'm Henry. Eric said you'd try me out to see how good I am with a sword. Ah, another greenhorn. Nice to see Kozlik's doing his job. Mind you, most of the peasants who okay. me couldn't fight a pile of manure with a pitchfork. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? You look familiar. I've never seen you before in my life. Hmm, really? 
I'd stake my neck I know you from somewhere. Well, never mind. My memory isn't what it used to be. Too much drink. <laughs> or not enough. All right, let's see what you're good for. Have you got a weapon? If not, you can borrow one over there. Now, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. All right, let's see what you're made of. Oh, shit. Where are you going? This is where we fight. Okay. Ah. Ooh. Ah. He's good. And I can... Look at that bastard. Jesus, you got me. You're a lot better than most of the fuckers here, lad. Well done. I've had a bit of practice. So I see. I'll tell Eric what you've got in you. Don't worry about that. But so you don't think old Vanyak is past it. I'll teach you one trick you'll be glad to know. Oh, that's very generous of you. Well, I don't want to take it to the grave with me. All right, listen. Before you start twisting and turning, take a good firm stance with your legs wide apart, <laughs> like this. As if you're about to let off a huge fart. I think I've got it. Thanks. So you see, it turned on lightning as well. Still, man, 30 FPS is fucking hell. Okay, now it's 50. It's better. Sir, may I? What is it? Oh boy. I went to the fight master as you ordered, and I. What's the matter? Lost your tongue? I think I know what's troubling the unmasked. He's surprised to see me here. And the feeling's mutual. When did you start recruiting Bradzik's people, Eric? Bradzik? Indeed. This boy is very dear to him. And I expect he's looking for this? Am I right, young man? You bastard. <laughs> oh boy. I apologize for the discomfort, but it's for your own safety. And ours, of course. You can count yourself lucky, lad. I'm gonna keep you alive. I'm sure your father will pay a nice fat ransom for you. Man, I knew it. I suspected it. That lucky of yours wouldn't even let me bury him. He doesn't know, Eric. Nobody told him. He told me, a foreigner, but not him. How very inconsiderate. I'm sure you'd rather hear it under different circumstances and from someone else, boy. But beggars can't be choosers. Your father, your real father, is alive. You even know him. It's your liege lord, Radzik Kobela. And I had my suspicions after Merkuyet, he said that... Here you are. See you soon, son, or something like and that. And I was, shit, there is something there. Your parents are both dead, aren't they? I thought so. And yet, 
Radzig still hasn't told you the truth. Could it be that he's ashamed of you? Hmm. I wonder if you'll want to pay that ransom after all. Well, best not think about that. If your father won't pay your ransom, you have no value to me. My father's dead. I understand why you feel that way. My own childhood was not dissimilar. How strange that we should have something in common. But I've delayed long enough. Now it's time for you to tell me why you came here. I was looking for my father's sword which was stolen by a certain bastard. And I found it. But I wonder which father you mean. In a way, it belongs to both. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. I'm going to kill you with it. You're hardly in a position to threaten me. But now I think of it, why not? When your father, your real father, pays, I'll give you an opportunity to try. I think that's very generous of you. Isn't it? <laughs> Radzik will crush you. And I'll be there to see it. I very much doubt it. You spied on our camp. You must realise that your father hasn't a fraction of the forces I've gathered. And now, with the king in captivity, there's no one to levy troops to come to your aid. <laughs> Even united with Hanush and Divish, your father couldn't raise more men than I have. The only force in this country capable of defeating me is Sigismund's. And he pays me. <laughs> when he wins, I win. Everything I take now will be mine. And I plan to take everything. So meet the new lord of the realm. A man like you will never rule here. Ugh. Have you never heard of Lord Suckle of Lamberg? Or Sir Henek, the dry devil? They fought for your king and plundered the estates of the lords in Austria, just as I'm doing here. Like they say, the stronger dog fucks the bitches. And war is a nasty business. Man, I can't wait to slit his throat. It's time. Now, I'm afraid I have more important business to attend to. I'll leave Udo here to keep you company. And let's hope for both our sakes that your father pays up. Farewell. Rot in hell! Ugh. Knock some manners into him, Udo. Come on, Eric, let's go. We've got work to do. And this game keeps getting better and better. Henry. Henry. Wake up. Can you hear me? Jesus, that brute really worked you over. Here. Try to drink. Come on. I thought you'd never come round. How do you know my name? Don't you recognize me? It's Bishek. You fucking traitor. You throw me to those bastards and then look me in the eye like nothing Shh. happened. Shh, be quiet. Maybe we started off on the wrong foot. But I'm your only chance to get out of your life. So do you want my help or not? What do you want? I want to get you out of here. But if you'd rather, I can leave you to rot and get the shit kicked out of you by Istvan's bruiser. Why would you, of all people, want to get me out of here? I've got my reasons. If not for the good of my soul, then for the good of my purse. It'll cost you a few groschen and that's all you need to worry about. You shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Shouldn't I? Even when it comes from a treacherous bastard who set his cutthroat friends on me when I was trying to bury my parents. I won't deny we didn't get off to a very good start. But this is a chance to start over and let bygones be bygones. <laughs> what about my possessions? Eric has your things. It would be suicide to try and get to them. Forget them. Oh, wonderful. 
So I'm supposed to make a run for it like this? It'd be better if you wore something to blend in, it's true. But I can't go and get you anything. I'm supposed to be guarding you. So if I leave my post, I'll have to avoid the others just the same as you. So what exactly are you- Nothing you need to care about. Let's just say it's a personal matter. But I do care. I don't believe a word you say. I know you're up to something. So you'd better try harder to convince me, or I'm not going anywhere with you. Not a day passes without these cutthroats pulling daggers on each other. And I'm the youngest, so they make a slave out of me. <laughs> a bandit's life isn't quite how you imagined it, eh? My heart bleeds. But you could easily make a run for it on your own. Why bother with me? Look, I just want to live a normal life. For that, I need peace and some coin. You need to get out of here, and you've got coin. My help won't cost you a tenth of what Istvan would want from Sir Ratzik. Why shouldn't we help each other? How do you propose to do it? Finally, we're getting somewhere. I know a way you can get out of the fortress without anyone seeing you. I'll untie you, and you'll have to make your own way there. It shouldn't be hard at this time of night. I'll wait for you outside. Afterwards, you'll tell your noble father I helped you so they don't hang me. And naturally, you'll pay me something for the risk I'm taking. Risk? Sounds riskier for me than for you. Not really. What are they going to do with you if they catch you? They want to ransom you, so the worst they'll do is lock you up again. But me, who was supposed to be guarding you and let you escape? Nobody's going to pay no ransom for me, friend. All right then, let's get out of here. Untie me. That's what I want to hear. But first, swear you'll tell Sir Ratzik I helped you. And that you'll pay me too. You have my word. What's the plan? All right. I'll have to trust your man of honor. Now listen, I found a place where you can easily get out. Down in the camp on the slope above Sasau, there's a place where they throw the waste over the wall. The pile of shit reaches almost to the top of the stockade. <laughs> All we have to do is jump over and we'll have a soft landing. Then we're free. Free and covered in shit. So that's all. Well, first, we both have to get there. We can't let anyone see either of us. I'm supposed to be guarding you and you're... Well, I'm supposed to be guarding you. So we have to keep to the shadows and stay away from prying eyes. I'll go first. There shouldn't be anyone outside in front of the barn. When you're out, go left along by the wall. There are cliffs everywhere, so try not to get yourself killed. I'll wait for you not far from the camp, by the dead tree between the path and the brook. Good luck. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Shh. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, that didn't work as planned. Let's try again. See, my sneaking is very, very bad. What are you doing here? What the fuck? Tired of life, are you? Yeah. 
Man, he's too good at touching. I'll slaughter you! Dopiche. Ah. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Now, look what's come crawling out from under some rock. I'll have you. I'll have you. Ah. 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 He has he has eyes on his back. Crawling out oh, from man. under some rock. Now you're fucked. If only it wasn't so dark.
wonder what I'll find behind the door. doing that? Hey, who's that? What are you doing here? Tired of life, are you? Oh, 
What's the matter? Come on. Jesus Christ. This will be interesting. No running. Fuck, fuck, where am I? Come weak at the knees, have you? Now you're... God damn! Who's there? What are you doing there? What have we got here? Entertainment? Great. Come here, Lily Liver. What's going on there? See, I'm unstoppable. Who's there? What are you doing there? Ow. 
Is that all you got? Where could he manage to? He must be here somewhere. Shit. What the fuck happened here? What are you doing there? <laughs> what? That was the worst escape. Shit, 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 shit. What the fuck happened? Oh man, I'm stuck in the bushes. So, we're out. Did you really think I'd reward you for betraying the people you betrayed me to? Go to hell. You bastard! You gave your word. You think you can cross me? Come and get it! <laughs> Motherfucker. Any word about your boy, Ratsy? Nothing yet. Let's hope he hasn't done anything rash. Wouldn't surprise me, given the balls that he has. Now, I wonder where he might have got those from. Don't start, Harris. I'm sorry, sir. This fellow... Henry. Father? I told you he had balls. Well, I see that you haven't been idle, and we'll certainly need to have a talk later, but not quite so publicly. It looks like you have plenty to tell us. What happened? I, uh... I got a bit tied up at Vranjik. But now I know what they're planning. What's being planned? And who's planning it? Spit it out, boy! There's no longer any doubt about it. It's that Hungarian noble you were hosting on the same day Sigismund pillaged Skalitz. Sir Istvan Toth. Toth and his people. Everything fits. They're the ones making the counterfeit money and using it to hire mercenaries from all around. 
He's already got quite an army of Ranyuk. But what the fuck is he after? I can tell you exactly, and you won't like it. How's that? I had quite a long talk with him. What? When I was trying to get into his camp, I was taken captive. We had a bit of a chat. Actually, he told me his entire plan. What? I suppose he thought he didn't need to keep it secret any longer. I'm not all that surprised. Why not? What's that bastard planning? He's in the service of Sigismund. He wants to destroy King Wenceslas' allies. That means us. He's gathered a very large force. I'm honestly not sure if we can defeat them. And he knows no one will come to our aid now. That fucking cunt! I'll skin him alive! How many men has he got? More than a hundred, I'd say. And how secure is their camp? It's an old abandoned fortress on a hill above Sassau. It's inaccessible from three sides, surrounded by a timber palisade. Bastard! I'll crush that rebel of his! That's easy to say, old friend. It seems Toth isn't taking any chances. Together with Divish, we can muster enough men. And we can all see there's no time to waste. That bastard wants a battle? Much better we pick a time and place than he does. Undoubtedly. <laughs> yes, I am. We have to take them by surprise. It would be best to attack tomorrow night. We can't get ready any sooner. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Radzig. Henry, I want you to get yourself fixed up and then go straight to Sir Divish of Talmberg. Tell him to assemble all the able-bodied men he can and bring them to Vranik tomorrow evening. We'll wait for him there. Yes, sir. Finally, a chance to show I'm not carrying a sword just for ornament. I'll go and get ready to ride out. Get a good meal inside you and get those wounds tended to. You look wretched. And if you need equipment or armor, tell Bernard. He'll give you what you need. Yes, my lord. No more, my lord. I'm your father. I swear, Hal, I plan to tell you. I'm sorry, Ishvan, of all people, beat me to it. But now we have more urgent matters to deal with. Hmm? Later, we'll have time to talk about it. What do you say? As you wish, my lord. Father. Good. Now go to Divish as quickly as you can, son. Awake already? I hope you've had a good rest after all you've Yeah, that, that's who we're talking you with optimized me. gamer. We got work to do tonight, so get up and, and get going rage player. As soon as possible. I had my suspicions that he'll be he's his father, but this evening at the stronghold and settle up with that I thought it was just that suspicious suspicions. Sir, I lost all my things at Vranik and I Yes, lad, I know. Here's the key to the armory. Take whatever you need. On pebbles. Listen up, men. Oh, man. It's going to be a long night and no easy pickings. I want every last one of you standing here in full armor and ready for action by Sunday. No, he doesn't. I guess Henry looks more like his mother. So now, where was the armory? Oh. The long sword. No access for me. What the hell is what is it?
Watch it. Hmm. Folks these days. Welcome, Henry. What? What the hell? How are you? Henry? Is someone there? What are you doing here? Get lost, or you're. Hey, watch it. What? Man, these guards are pissing me off. Look where you're going. Hey. What are you playing at with that weapon? The FPS drops in Rate. Come on. You, Henry. I'm glad to. Can we do something? Well, find it. <coughs> Can we do something? Hmm. Okay, now we're ready.
And I should have checked them up earlier. Apparently I don't know the land as well as I thought I do. Yeah, man, it's so fucking beautiful. Oh. oh, would you look at that? Welcome, yeah, man, it's so fucking beautiful. And I would like to play it on very high as well, you know? When I'm not streaming and I play it on very high, high, out in the forest and in the fields I get like 60 plus FPS but as you see as soon as I get close to a village I just get a huge 20 to 30 FPS drop yeah I would also like to for them to make the combat harder and not killing armored opponents with like two hits following the roads Xbox, but I barely turn it on. Guys, now that everyone has finished the game, you have to tell me what other game I should play and make videos about, or I might lose you. Sir, I bring an urgent message from my father. From Saradzig and Hanish. Oh man, I, I fucking can't, can't wait for Bannerlord. I found out who's behind all the unrest in the region, and Father and Hanish have decided to put an end to it all. What? So who is responsible for all our recent troubles? You may have met him. Istvan Toth. No, I haven't met him. But Sir Radzig said he'd been here to visit before... Before the raid. I don't suppose that's a coincidence. What kind of man is he? What is he after? He's in the service of King Sigismund. 
and he's fighting the nobility who support King Wenceslas. They've amassed quite a force at the old stronghold above Sassau, and they're planning to attack very soon. Father and Hannes have decided to move first and destroy him before he's prepared. Oh, for Christ's sake. When and how? Tonight. They send word for you to muster your men and rendezvous with them at Vranjik. This is madness. Maybe it is. But I fear that Radzik and Hanish are right. The sooner we cure this pestilence, the better. Gather the men and make ready. We march tonight. Leave only as many as you must to guard the castle. Very well, sir. As you command. Come on, I... Will you be coming with us? Yes, sir. I have some scores to settle with them. Yeah, and hopefully, I hope the next week patch will fix most of the things. I still can't return that quest with the nightingales because I get booked in the conversation. And I grew so fond of Henry. Have you guys played Assassin's Creed Origins? Yeah, I have yet to finish that. I played quite a lot. Well, well, Tivish. I see you don't want to miss the show. You didn't expect me to leave all the glory to you. Yeah. Never. We wouldn't dream of starting without you. That's a beautiful you? armor. Did you parley with him? We did. And what was the outcome? Not quite what we hoped for. Radzig wanted to go parley with him in person. Fortunately, I talked him out of it. It seems that this will not be resolved without a battle. Bloody good thing, too. Finally, we'll have some proper entertainment in the countryside. Fortunately, my son here showed immense daring and made his way into the lion's den to spy on them. Tell us what you saw, lad. Yeah, I tried unit two or three times, but I didn't get the fun. I don't know, I didn't like it that much. I really like Origins because the, because of the setting, it's so beautiful and so well made, especially when I went to Alexandria, that was amazing. And the fact that you can set enemy boats on what fire. You know, exactly. Well, let's start with how well fortified they are. The outer palisade goes right around the whole camp. On a small hill inside it, there's a half demolished farmhouse that's ringed by another palisade. That's where I was held prisoner. And that's where Toff's based. Him and his inner circle. Can you tell us how many tents there are and how they're arranged? There might be fifty, maybe three score. Most of them in the right-hand side of the camp. And the men? How many men strong are they? Quite a few. At least eighty. Huh. We don't number much more than that ourselves. We do outnumber them, though, even if only by a few men. And our men are well armed and disciplined. The foe, nothing but a rabble. From what I've seen, it's best to attack from our direction. How does it look from the other side? The east side is all rocks, so no hope of launching a major assault from there. On the other hand, that's the way I escaped. It's where they throw all their waste. The heap's already so high, it's almost to the top of the palisade. Now that is interesting. The ramparts are long. If there are as many of them as we think, they can hardly keep watch over the entire length. Attack with full force at the gate, and they won't have enough men at the rear. 
That's an excellent strategy. But then I'd expect no rest from you. If we cause an enormous uproar at the same time, they won't know what's hit them. Uproar? You said they have tents there? Yes, sir. Well, if I'm not mistaken, tents usually burn rather well. And we have quite a few archers. <laughs> you don't do things by halves, Gibbish. So, I believe we have a plan. Robard will take ten men and sneak to the rear of the fortifications. There's an entry point, but you must remain hidden. I will do my best, sir. That shouldn't be too hard. They'll have other things to worry about. The rest of us will launch a frontal assault. Rain burning arrows on them and then attack. Those bastards won't know which way to turn. At that point, Robot and his squad will strike from the rear. I think it's a good plan. God be with you, my friends. We'll wipe those whore sons off the face of the earth. Yeah, man, we need more games like Kingdom Come. Listen up now. We are about to meet the rabble that have been trying to hurt us. Pillaging, killing, raping, and generally being a thorn in our side for long enough. They may be hiding behind a stockade, but they are still a pack of curs who are no match for men like you. And tonight, we are going to festoon these trees with corpses. First, we will set fire to their little hornet's nest, then we'll keep them busy by the gate, and when we've made it nice and hot for them, Sir Robard and his men will pounce on them from the rear, and we will hack them to pieces. Have you got it? Yes, sir! Good. Now, when we reach the ramparts, the archers will cover the men climbing it, and the men with the battering ram. Any of these fuckers foolish enough to stick his head outside the stockade is to lose it at once. Understood? Yes, sir! Glad to hear it. Now, let's do it! Forward! And why did they attack at night? I won't be able to see anything. That was beautiful.
was quick. Fencing skills are the useless skills. Man, I'm not reading the chat, so it's okay. <laughs>
Where's that Hungarian bastard? Why isn't he here? Don't tell me no one was in command! Man, you've There's missed a lot with the Henry. priest. Henry, where's Top? You said he was here. He definitely was, sir. I've got to cut some bruises to show for it. You have to find out where he slithered off to. Look for clues. Anything that will tell us what he's doing. Oh, it's so fun that I have to steal my stuff back. <laughs> no, no. Henry, I'm glad you came. So, this was all I could find. A letter? What does it say, Ratzig? Alongside hunting, drinking and swordplay, you might find time for a little study, old man. In the courts of Prague, every Tom, Dick and Harry can read nowadays. Yes, well, here in the countryside, we don't give a tinker's curse about such things. Huh. That's what I've got a scribe for, anyway. What does the damn thing say? It appears to be written by Toth, but it doesn't say to whom. It says, everything is going according to plan, and the castle should soon be taken. Castle? What castle? What does he need a castle for? Sir, we took this one alive. And it seems he's not just some ordinary spear carrier. Where's that rat Toth? Where did he go? Speak, damn you! He's thwarted you again, hasn't he? If <laughs> you play your cards right, you might come out of this in one piece. Where is your lord? He was here yesterday, wasn't he? Come now, sir. We both know where I will end up. <laughs> My lord is gone. He took most of the men and left. Where is he gone? What is he planning? He writes here about taking some castle. Which castle? <laughs> oh, some nearby castle. Left completely unguarded. Now I wonder where it could be. <laughs> what are you saying, you horse son? Talmberg. Did he go to Talmberg? <laughs> You'll never get him. Oh, what a shot. What? 
We are planning on sending him to some monastery to become a monk. I believe we have some work to do, Sir Dibbish, do we not? Mount up, gentlemen. Don't Man, Sir Divish has such a cool armor. And these stupid guards. Lady Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> My lady. Master man! Come on! My men are gravely wounded. Without treatment, I'm afraid they won't live to see morning. Not to worry. We'll take care of them. My lady, you have my uttermost gratitude. May God reward you. Man, he's such a snake. Every Christian should help his neighbor in his hour of need. True. Especially now, when treachery and deception surround us on all sides. Get out of the way! The devil lurks in the shadows. Come on! And one fears taking a guest into his house. Yeah. That I was thinking that the bandit camp would be the last mission and Time to kick some bandit ass. Now that I see what I'm doing. Come here, you. Yeah. 
motherfucker. I'm trying not to read. I don't think so. I like it better right here. Would you rather hide behind my wife like some mangy whelp? I could just as easily cut her throat. I have hostages enough and strong walls to protect me. Bring him here. Oh boy. Radzik? What do you want, you viper? Let me think. Oh, actually, there's nothing I want from you. Except maybe to see you all die. Fire! Burn it down! Yeah, Hans were, is pretty cool. Also, Father Godwin, of course. sword for a while. Oh, we have men enough for sword wielding. A good lord is harder to come by. Yeah, he's he's real, man. He have feels like Robert again. Baratheon. He was charging against reinforcements from the castle. We have to save the rub. My father I don't know, man. That's my question to you. What do you want to see? Wife. I'm thinking of starting the game again, but playing it with a roguish type. I think you know as well as I. We have to lay siege. No. No, that is our last resort. We have to try all our other options. Sir, if a few men could scale the Western Wall after dark, maybe they could get inside, free the hostages, and open the gate. That is, if they're holding them in the courtyard, as we've always done. Well, that's a big if. 
What if they're seen and they can't raise the portcullis quietly? Sir Hamish, if we can save just one hostage. It's a perilous undertaking. Who would you send? I'll go. Then let us make ready. Okay, <laughs> for this I need my other helm. I want to be able to see what's happening. Man, I actually have to finish Fallout 4. I still haven't finished it. I'm going light. Good day to you. I'm really sad that they're changing the safe system. I'm ready. Are you sure? You should wear lightweight black clothing. Anything you don't need, you can leave here. I don't want you clank. Yes, I'm ready to go. Yeah, man, as I said, I really want to replay it. And uh, this time I won't be the chival chivalry. Blah. I don't know how to pronounce it. But the good night. If any of you are having second thoughts. This is your last chance. I'll be a roguish type. I'll try to speak my way out of things Very or well. poison people, you know, that kind of. Clear on what has to be done. We need to free the hostages to deprive Toth of his advantage. Now he'll be keeping them somewhere where they can be guarded, but somewhere separate from his other men. And where would that be? We always kept our captives in the house on the bailey by the stables. And what if they're in their tower or somewhere else? Then we'll have to go to the gate and try to open it. But that will take time and attract attention. So we can only do it if we know exactly how things stand. And if they sound the alarm... Shivori, yeah, thank you. <laughs> we get out of there quick. Understood. By the way, thank you for watching, guys. Better a couple of hostages than a pile of corpses. Lord Capon, are you quite certain you want to engage in this action? Quite. After all, it can't be much different from sneaking out of the upper castle in Rate and back in every night. Oh boy, look who's here! Besides, who else will keep this hothead from raising bloody mayhem? Well, see to it that you do, my lord. May God guide our footsteps. I don't 
see anything. What are they waiting for? Quiet for fuck's sake. What are they waiting for? How should I know? Why do I bother asking? Oh, be quiet and watch that light on the battlements. <laughs> Fuck this way. <laughs> Uh, keep it to yourself. Fuck, I, sh I I'm st I'll stop reading so right away. I'll put on his armor and watch this side, but there are still two guards on the portcullis winch to deal with. Any volunteers? Henry will do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure keep quiet. Oh man, Hans, you bastard. We can't get this moving without being noticed. First, we have to find the hostages. It'll all go a lot easier if no one sees us. And fooling around with the portcullis is bound to draw attention. First, we have to find the hostages. Then we can come back and deal with the rest. Easy now. We're almost there. Let's not fuck it up at the eleventh hour. What's that? I really like how my horse is just sitting here. Jesus, get a fucking move on, man. Any time now. Hey. Patience, he has to move. Oh man.
quite nervous. Where's Sir Ratzik and Lady Stephanie? L Lady Stephanie? D she's not here. She must be held somewhere else. Where? Where is she being held? And where's Sir Ratzik? I suppose the lady might be in her chamber. We don't know anything. They herded us here and told us not to move a muscle. Damn it all. We'll have to go back empty-handed. I really thought we could pull it off. We're not going anywhere. Not without my father and Lady Stephanie. And how are we meant to find them? They're not in the stables or anywhere nearby. You want to creep right inside the palace where Tot's men are everywhere? <laughs> Yes, we can't leave them in Toth's hands. It was hard enough getting this far, but going inside is madness. What good will it do them if we get caught? Then we mustn't get caught. <laughs> Listen, Hal, I can appreciate your stubbornness, usually. But this could cost us our heads. At least we save those other people. I told you, I'm not leaving here without the hostages. If you're determined to be a stubborn ox, go right ahead. I suppose you might as well look for your sword while you're at it. No <laughs> point leaving the job half done. <laughs> yeah, so I love Hans. Are you going to help me or not? If you want to get yourself killed, you can do it alone. But before you go raising bloody mayhem, give us time to get out of here. Come on then. Let's get the fuck out of here before they catch us. Oh shit. <laughs> Gorva! Fuck my ass! Oh boy! Oh. Henry! I'll have to carry him out. Come now, you bastard. Oh, 
I have no idea what's happening. That was fun, let's do it again. Oh, oh shit! We'll have to carry him out of here right now. I... I wanna do something... Fuck. least I should have yeah that, that's what I'm thinking right now if I used a better longsword uh, okay that guy is down my misery and yeah, let's do it again
the hell is Short sword would be useful now. I don't have room to swing my long sword. Yeah, but okay. Uh, one more try, and then I guess I'll have to have an idea. But I don't. I sh should not let them enter more than one in the room. Fuck! I'll have to carry him out of here right now. Okay. Who wants some? Come on. Come on, let's. Now, let's hold the door. <laughs> oh shit, I put everything in the horse. Fuck.
Let's continue. Oh boy. You got it. I'm back on the roof in Mars. See for yourself. You don't believe me. You're the What the fuck can? The game. Henry. Henry, get me out of here. Stop telling everyone what it is you are. What happened? Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> One more try and I wonder if I can bandage him. I'd like to carry him out of here right now. Where could he have vanished to? He must be here somewhere. Henry, where is everyone? Sorry for the trouble, Rue, That's
Damn. Oh, Capone, whatever. Oh, Yeah, fuck. Man, I don't know who is who. And the 30 FPS don't help at all. I should have put my other sword.
thank you, thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll get through this now. You know what, I'm not sure if I can grab him, I mean, there are so many. I have to carry him out of here right now. The thing is... Okay, no. Okay, now, now we do. Now that my weapon actually does damage, it will be a different story. Oh man. Okay man, thank you for watching and see you later. I'll have to carry him out of here right now. Stop telling everyone what an idiot you are. Where could he have managed to? He must be here somewhere. Ahem! Not faking it! Seriously! Get out of here! Ahem! Not faking it! Seriously! Gorova! He must be here somewhere.
Fuck! I'll have to carry him out of here right now. I'll find you, you cat. You can't hide from me. This will be something. Let me tell you stories about this man for years. Centuries. Wait here. What are they waiting for? Quiet for fuck's sake. What are they waiting for? How should I know? Why do I bother asking? Oh, be quiet and watch that light on the battlements. I'll put on his armor 
and watch this side, but there are still two guards on the portcullis winch to deal with. Any volunteers? Henry will do it. Buffoon? Henry, then. Just make sure you keep quiet. Who's there? 